Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India The study uh, thus aimed towards the possible means of sustainability of a traditional culture in the context of the contemporary social surrounding. When it sustains or, or it survives, so we talk about the uh, aspect of survival which is connected to life. And the artwork if it becomes mere decoration or it lacks expression it becomes dead. So, when we say that tradition is endangered, it is dying, we must also know that what are the factors that makes it die. Is it the superficial repetition of the same aesthetic uh, motives or is it that uh, the expression which is new, uh, if something is new that may not be acceptable for a whole lot of people, but it also uh, shows some possibility that it is surviving with some new aesthetics. But if we keep on repeating certain artwork that may lose its soul and die some untimely death. So, we are trying to look at it from the sustainability aspect what makes it uh, more living and uh, continuous. And when we see that this particular tradition is leaving for so long without any patronage as such, it has certain qualities that we must hold confidence on this particular tradition that it is try it is leaving on its own without any patronage. So, it has a capacity of survival of its own and we must identify those qualities that made it uh, leave such a long life. In that context, the study will focus and scrutinize uh, on the existing traditional and contemporary practices as well as the existence of contemporary elements in introspection to time bound obligations within the contemporary range of a traditional practice. Regional and vernacular paintings which are uh, zone based. That is a tradition in India which is endangered of course, but in search of the survival of an alternative condition to match the need of time is something that will uh, be concluded uh, with uh, some proper knowledge. So, when we say that uh, the survival of the vernacular uh, practices uh, are one of our concern, we must also see that what are the other alternatives that is uh, taking its place and how relevant they are and how the threat is continued through continuity. To encourage folk artists to be individual practitioners in line and competition with modern art practitioners too is bypassing the question. Some among them have the wit and the sophistication to take such a position on their own initiative or with the help of others, but a large number cannot. Even those who have tried have not all fared well. Besides, this ignores the special nature and structure of folk art activity itself. K. G. Subramaniam writes it in his book living tradition. Let us understand uh, with the writings of K. G. Subramaniam the present day interest for folk art. The present day interest stands on its historical and museological value. There are collectors who are instrumental in knowledge preservation to realize the cultural value of folk art specimens. The conservationalists focuses on the preservation of the art forms as living traditions within a changing society. Both are important for the cultural scene of the country. 
cultural imposition on the society is another very important factor that we need to discuss. Any kind of cultural imposition can also be highly damaging uh, if the culture is imposed on a practice. If you feel that uh, it has to be conservative in some term and we keep on imposing the market on uh, the survival of this tradition, it may mislead us to a large extent. The survival may also depend on the market demand. If we say that the uh, practitioners has to cope up with uh, the market and be completely uh, updated with the market demand and supply accordingly, that may also not work in the favor of the artistic expression, creativity and aesthetics. Uh, so, it is very important to create a market at the same time be slightly ignorant about how the market is moving. So, in contemporary context, the sustenance of folk idiom is directed towards an external initiation of a cultural discourse. The emphasis is on the ethnicity of an individual rather than a community. The modern art scene is in such cases requires being accommodative or enough to include diverted style and expression. It is in the past that uh, it happened that the contemporary artists who are trained in uh, art colleges and follow a more or less European academic style mixed with some Indian nationalistic ideas, they prefer to display their artworks with a few uh, prominent and uh, uh, most uh, impactful artworks done by some eminent folk artists and they got a success, but it is just too rare uh, an instance. Uh, there are still separate shows being conducted on folk art and they are understood as a separate category that way they are considered. It is an undeniable fact that the elements and principles of folk art practice are the offshoots of a particular lifestyle that involves certain beliefs that is often regional and purely habitual. The lifestyle of an ethnic society is the life force that causes the art forms to emerge and grow. To find the place and justify the role of such cultural practices in today's society and culture, it requires a scrutiny to the guiding factors that determines its life. If we count the traditional lifestyle as variable, the life of the practice is not guaranteed. If we count the lifestyle as invariable, the life of the practice will be artificial and imposed. If a new circumstances is accepted as an alternative lifestyle, the lifestyle may cause the art forms to alter. The third option ensures the survival of the practice in new circumstances, which can support the practice to cope up with the contemporary art scene and cater to the need of the modern art market, but to appreciate the new art forms as an outcome of an alternative condition, the society also needs adequate preparation. Although there is a relevant place of ancient texts in the uh, contemporary subject matters, uh, in terms of its value and the core ethics, it is also something that the ethnomaniac uh, conditions may destroy the flow to a large extent. So, in a way the practice that was restricted to the woman of Madhubani for centuries and now for the last two decades showing signs of change with male members of the community taking up as professions indicates the freedom that they have enjoyed being free from the ritualistic restraints yet having a free access to the traditional symbols and icons to maintain the stylistic identity. It also describes the difference in style based on a caste system that how the styles are facing reconciliation in contemporary expression. 
Wall paintings from the state of Jharkhand on the other hand is filled up with primitive and tribal elements in spite of many similarities with Madhubani in the ephemeral art forms. The images are spontaneous and rich in tribal aesthetics but vastly unexplored as a surviving tradition that is centered on age old Jadupatiya and their Yamapata. In Bengal, what we see that uh, the Patuas, uh, they are also undergoing this kind of an evolution where their practice started with a very different purpose of its own that was uh, primarily to educate the community, the common people with the moral values that are conveyed through the ancient texts and uh, ancient religious texts often and then slowly it moved into a very different direction uh, with some connect uh, connection uh, where we see that it worked as the replacement of texts for the illiterates who could not read or write. So, in the condition where somebody is not able to read the texts in because of the language constraints, the images came handy to express the ideas of the stories. So, most of the time what we see that the Patachitrakars of Bengal, uh, they underwent a very unique condition where they were uh, mostly depicting the stories uh, with their songs, they created lyrics, they sang all those songs. At the same time, they illustrated the pictures, they just made a kind of a graphic formation to depict all the stories and uh, the moral values. Uh, they instigate certain kind of moral values to the common people, because most of the time the audiences were the women of the regular household in the absence of the men uh, members of the community. So, uh, most of the time the subjects were to uh, instigate certain uh, moral ethics um, that was uh, not very uh, female friendly, but uh, they were the thing that was depicted by their saying and slowly their themes included lots of secular uh, subject matters which are connected to the social scandals, the social stories and uh, uh, different themes which are more popular and that way it evolved and till now the tradition is perhaps being continued because of the new introduction of new subject matters, new themes, new elements and new imageries. So, with that we are going to uh, move to the next chapter which is connected to this particular topic which is about the contemporary practice, the nature of it and I will try to uh, make you familiar with some of the artworks which are made in the recent time and you can then make out how different they are from the earlier one, but at the same time there is a route that creates a connection of from the past to the present and uh, you can also track the evolution in a very smooth manner.